life. I just finished my meditation and like my whole morning routine. And I actually wanted to share a product that I've been using. I always use an eye mask when I meditate because I just need to block out every little bit of light. And I've been trying this mask from a brand called Sweet Night. And they did send this to me and this video is in partnership with them. But what I love about it, it's like a massaging face mask. Now I don't use the massage portion when I'm meditating. I do like it at nighttime before bed. And if you're somebody who sits in front of the computer, like I'm editing, I'm staring at my phone all day and whatnot, your eyes strain after a while. And so it has this like gentle massage that you can turn on or off and it kind of alleviates like stress around your eyes. Um, I've been doing a lot of facial massage too, which helps release muscle tension, but this is just like another added tool and it has this little battery that comes on and off that you can like charge. And I really like this. Um, you can see this little strip inside. So like it blocks out every bit of light. I even pack eye masks when I'm traveling and stuff. I need them to sleep. Um, and another cool feature of this is it has a heating feature. So you can turn that on where it warms up or there's little packs that you can put in the freezer and you stick in here and they're um, cold. So you, if you get puffiness, if you wake up with a lot of lymph and like um, puffy eyes and you wanna like, let's say you meditate in the morning, you can put the cold in here and be depuffing your eyes while you're meditating, which I love. Um, but the whole premise, the reason that they created this was to help you sleep better because if you release the eye tension, you know, you sleep better. It's so soft and so comfortable. Like I wasn't sure at first if this was gonna, it's big. So I was like, is it gonna be too heavy, too clunky? Am I gonna know what's there? Is it gonna weigh me down? It doesn't, it's light as a feather, it's soft, it's comfortable. So you just turn it on. This thing has a little plug or there's a magnetic charger that you can just put over this metal piece if you just want to charge it like that. I've been using it, I've been loving it, and I just wanted to share with you guys. You know, my wellness is so important to me. I've been obsessed with the uh, Huberman Labs podcast and learning the importance of like sleep and I already have been meditating for a couple years now and the importance of that and any little tool that can help me along the way is like you know, amazing so this is actually currently on sale right now um, and also they gave me a discount code and it's Jamie W 15% I'm gonna put it in the description box with a link if you guys are interested and you want to check them out and thank you to sweet night for partnering with me on this video lighting makes my makeup look decent but I'm really not loving how my makeup actually came out today but I am in Orlando because today is the day that my jewelry goes into a retail store and I'm very excited about it so I met Christian on TikTok and I think the last time I came to Orlando I vlogged and I vlogged meeting him and he opened a store in the Orlando area for his makeup collection, for his makeup line, his makeup brand. And then he asked if I wanted to put my jewelry in his store. And so I'm so excited. So today, Buy Glam Latte Jewelry goes into a retail location. So I've been working on creating some pieces. I really ran out of time. I've just been stressed, really. Um, I made like 35 pieces. Like I made some of these necklaces, some harmony necklaces, some earrings. And um, we're just gonna start there, I think. But I'm very excited. So today is the day that I'm going to do that.
just finished filming a get ready with me for TikTok, packed my bags, and I'm hitting the road. Yesterday was kind of crazy, like we were catching up and stuff, so I didn't vlog a ton. But seeing my jewelry in Christian's store, in the retail store, was just so amazing. I just tried his pink powder and it's so pretty and kind of loving. Good morning. So I am just out doing morning walk. I know it's probably windy in your ear. You see? Um, I'm going in a little while to deal with this because I told you guys I was dissolving my lips and um, I put some back in and it's migrating. All right, I just left her office and we just hit it. So it's gonna take probably a couple days for it to go down, but at least I got that kind of addressed because it was driving me crazy and I can see it on camera, especially when I have like foundation on and whatnot. So, like you can see the shadow it's creating more than you can see it. My hair is frizzy AF and I can't figure out if it's from hormones or hard water. Does like anybody else have hard water? Does it make your hair break off? Because look at this, look at this. Is this hormones or is it water? By the way, I have my phone on cinematic mode right now. I did that for my regular video. Let me know what you guys think about the quality because I'm like super interested. Like I have the iPhone 14 and I've never shot in this mode before. I really am trying to do away with my DSLR. I mean, I don't ever use it. It's sitting there collecting dust and I have this phone that I spent astronomical amount of money on. So like, you know, trying to streamline the process. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. Uh, let's look at the lip. Looks better already. It's going down. You can see that little bump right there. I don't know. Maybe you can't see it. Just a little bit. It's going down. It looks better than it did earlier. So I just hope that it doesn't go down too much. And that's why we were kind of being conservative with it. Visitor. Say hey. They're hungry. I gotta feed them right now. Yeah, I think this vi video is pretty quick. I don't know, did I vlog my birthday? I don't know if I vlogged my birthday, but like, your girl is 47, okay? And for those of you who have been here since the beginning of my journey, 47, you guys. Remember when I did that video w where I was like, am I too old to be on YouTube? And I was like, I don't know, 42, 43 or something, I don't know. I, I still get comments on that video and I'm just like, haha. Like people are like, yeah, I'm 40 and I, I feel bad about being too old for YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 47 and I'm still here. Because all of the creators that were popular back in the day when I started, you know, Desi and Katie and like that era, we're all getting older. So I feel like we're shifting into older YouTube and the audience from then, you guys, I'm assuming, are getting older as well. So. I feel like there's nothing wrong with being 47 and on YouTube because it's just a ridiculous sentiment that I used to have. Just got this PR package from ColourPop and basically they're expanding the shade range on their highlighters, their blushes, and their bronzers. And they sent me all of the new ones and here they are. And I am so excited. I'm gonna test this out as a possible dupe for my Becca blush in blush copper that obviously is discontinued and so so beautiful so I'm going to check that out right now this is the shade on the radio so I'm going to open these up and try them out for TikTok and Instagram and YouTube shorts and all the things um, excuse me, you are in my chair and I need to work. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I gotta sit in this chair. You know what I mean? Yeah, he does this every time I want to work. He sits in my chair. I don't know why you want to be involved. Why are you the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life? Okay, so here they are side by side. Blushed copper is like beat to shit because it shattered and I put it back together. And then this is the one from ColourPop and I swatched them and the one on the left 
is blushed copper. So you can see it's more bronzy. The one on the right is this one from ColourPop and it has more red tones in it. So they are not dupes, sadly. I just finished filming some TikTok videos and my hair, it's always. So I've been super busy because I'm trying to balance like the 9,000 things I have going on. I'm trying to get my podcast back up and running. I have some new jewelry launches coming. I've been really focused on my wellness lately. Huberman Labs podcast. If you haven't, if you're interested in wellness at all, highly recommend. He's on YouTube so you can watch him, which is how I like to consume the podcast. Even if I'm just listening, I like it on YouTube better than podcast outlets. And I've heard you guys ask me to do the same, to put my podcast on here on YouTube. So I'm working on doing that. The logistics, it's an insane undertaking and I don't have a team. So it's going to take me a lot more than somebody else who does have a team. But anyway, I've been listening to his podcast. I went down a rabbit hole. I've learned so many amazing wellness tips, viewing the sun first thing in the morning, uh, red light therapy, so many things and I've seen a lot of positive changes. So I literally just realized that today is daylight savings. It's seven o'clock and it's still so light out. And this whole day, I did not know. I don't know if I told you guys that my aunt passed away on New Year's Eve. And um, it's a whole big long story, but when someone passes away and they live alone, what happens to their stuff? She had a lot of stuff. So she doesn't have anybody to deal with her stuff except for my mom. So I've been helping my mom clean out her house and we've been there every weekend since January and we're still not done. And I've taken some things, you know, little things, whatever, but she had a bunch of plants, like beautiful plants, and she had a ginormous, well, I think it's ginormous, um, potted olive tree. I have an olive tree that I planted last year, and um, olive trees don't get olives unless you have two of them, because they have to cross-pollinate. So anyway, I have a new olive tree. Let me show you. So there she is. I don't know if you can tell how tall she is. It's taller than me. It's probably like maybe seven feet tall. And then the other one is right there. So hopefully they will cross pollinate and this guy will give me um, olives. But You'll notice my grass is getting brown as it does every year at this time of year because it's the dry season, there's been no rain. So that's why I wouldn't plant anything in the ground. That over there is a lemon tree and um, there's another tree right here. And all three of these came from my aunts. So I just left them in the pots and um, yeah, for now, but I'm obsessed, I love her. I particularly like looking at her from this seat, which is where I sit every morning and evening. Oh, no, it's such a view, it's such a vibe. It's just giving me all the Italian countryside vibes, you know? A little Tuscany vibes, if you will. I am drinking decaf. I started drinking Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee, and I'm drinking their Swiss water decaf. And I like to drink that at night because I'm seriously a coffee addict. I have a serious addiction. And you know what? I'm not sorry. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. I have so much to like, I could go on and talk about, but for now, I think I'll wrap it up. I'll keep it short and sweet. If I could do more vlogs and just have them be shorter, where before I used to do like monthly vlogs and they would be like 45 minutes long and there was such a beast to edit. So I'm thinking if I could do vlogs that are under like 20 minutes or so and do them more frequently, 
I'm thinking that's the way to go. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And thank you again for Sweet Night for partnering with me on today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one.